Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a tumbler I labeled Queen of Hearts. So I started off with a 20 ounce sublimation tumbler and so when you start off with a sublimation tumbler you can totally use them for epoxy you just have to make sure that you sand and prep your tumbler to get off that shiny uh, coat. So that's just what I'm doing I'm going in with my sander and I am just scuffing it up and then I'm going to go ahead and get a some alcohol and wipe it down with a coffee filter to get all that debris sanded stuff off. Now I'm going to go ahead and get um, my template that I went ahead and designed and I need to make a straight line on the tumbler so I can go ahead and line up that template uh, really good on that tumbler so that way um, it lays down perfectly. So the tool that I'm using to make the straight line is actually um, from Cami Page Boutique and it's called the Ultimate Guide Tool. Guys, I use this almost on all my tumblers. It's just an amazing way to help you do a line and get your um, wraps on straight. It also comes with like several other attachments that you'll see me actually use um, in this video later on um, to also help you with other things as well as just making straight lines. <laughs> but anyways, so here I go, get my stencil and I'm putting my transfer tape on there and I'm gonna go ahead and line up those diamond edges I'm gonna line them up as close as like as close as I can to that straight line that we created, um, so I can get the perfect wrap. Um, and you'll see me do that now. You're gonna see I pull a piece of the backing off. Um, I fold it back. I fold it down, <laughs> so that way when I start to place my stencil on there, I'm able to smooth it out. And as I smooth it out. Um, the backing slowly peels off and you'll see me do that right about now. Um, as you saw, that's how I did it. I'm getting closer to the other end of the stencil. So I pull up that part of the transfer tape and then I lay down um, the part that I was laying. Uh, and I just make sure it almost lined up perfectly. Um, it, the only thing I didn't is just because I messed up and I forgot to size my tumbler. I mean, measure my tumbler so I can size my uh, stencil out correctly. Um, but if I did that, then it would have been super, super perfect. All right, so now the stencil is laid on there, and I'm going to go ahead and get some electrical tape, and I'm going to line up the bottom of the electrical tape to the top of that stencil. Um, you can kind of see the diamonds, um, and so I am just lining that tape right, um, right up until that, those points of the diamonds. Um, so we can go ahead um, and start glittering and painting. Now that that tape is go ahead and placed all around that tumbler, I am now going to go ahead and get my gleaning tool and pick out all the diamonds that I am going to be painting black. I'm going to pick those out so you kind of notice it kind of makes a checkered pattern um, and that's what I'm doing. And then I get some alcohol and a coffee filter to go ahead and spritz. Um, my coffee filter so I can go ahead and wipe that um, Sharpie line that we created to help me lay down the stencil. Uh, for future reference, I would um, wait to the alcohol completely dries because I placed it down and I didn't think about it not drying. So later on you'll kind of see where I made it uh -oh with that. But um, so yeah, so just make sure that the alcohol or whatever you use to wipe off your permit marker dries completely. <laughs> If not, you're going to run into this problem that I did uh, <laughs> later on. So anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my Colorflex uh, paint from Artistry in the shade Black. And I'm going to go ahead and paint all those white squares black. Um, and for me, 
personal preference, I like to do two coats. I just like my paint to be very opaque before I go with my glitter. Um, but if you don't like that or you feel like you're good with the one coat, uh, you can go ahead and certainly just use the one coat and use that as an adhesive. What I love about the Colorflex paints is that they are a three-in-one. So there's paint, primer, and glue inside these um, mixtures. So they are perfect for one coaters. But again, preference, I love two coats. So I wait for that first coat to completely dry. And then I'm going to go in with my second coat. Now you see how with that second coat, it's just completely opaque. And I just go ahead and paint like two, like maybe one or two rows. And then I'm going to go in with my glitter just so I can make sure that um, the paint does not dry. Um, so that way I get the paint on while it's all, I mean, I get the glitter on while the paint is still wet. Now that almost all my squares are painted and glittered black, um, I am going to go ahead and brush off all the excess as y'all saw that I did that in between all the coats um, that, I mean, all those rows that was glittering, I was brushing off. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to our white. Um, as you see, I'm also using these mattes. They are from um, Artistry as well. They are just so amazing. I love that they're reusable. So you can always just get a wipey or a vacuum and you can vacuum up your glitter or wipe down your glitter in between shots. I mean, in between glitters, um, colors, and um, it's reusable. So it's amazing. So anyway, so now I'm going to go in with... Um, my weeding tool and pick off the rest of the stencils so that way now we have the checkered diamond pattern revealed so now i'm going to go in with my glitter glue and um paint i mean paint yeah well paint on the glue so i can glitter the white but before i do that i just want to make sure i really brush off all that excess black because I do not want any excess black going to my white. I want to have really good, um, distinct black and white um, checkers, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I'm just making sure that my mat is very clean. So that way when I get, when I put my white back in my jar, I do not have black in there at all. So I'm just really making sure my mat is nice and clean from black glitter. So now, now you, now you finally see me go in with my glitter glue and start painting the diamonds. Um, and I'm going to do the same process as I did the black. Um, I'm just going to do one row at a time. So that way I do not, um, the glue, the glue does not dry in between. So I just want to make sure I get all in there. Also, this this step is very tedious just because we do not have a stencil, so we have to make sure that we stay within our little diamond. Um, looking back at it, I probably honestly should have used a shape tape, um, but I was not thinking at the time of me cutting out my stencil, and I just went ahead and did normal stencil. But if I were to do this tumbler again, I'd probably use um, shape tape for this bottom part. Yay, and now we are done glittering all these little white diamonds. The magic of editing and tutorials, right? Um, so now that I got all that glittered, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my electrical tape. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and see where my top part of my stencil is going to land. And I'm going to mark it. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Kimmy Page Boutique um, Ultimate Guide Tool. 
again and um, this part I'm going to use a different attachment where you can actually put a pencil or a marker which I'm using today um, into a little slot and then it helps you um, lock it in place where exactly where you want it and then you put your marker in there and then you go ahead and tighten up that little screw and then you just go ahead and twist your cup around and it gives you the straight line that you need all around your tumbler. Um, I probably honestly should have done this step too in the very beginning because um, I didn't think about that glitter at the bottom rubbing down on my tool. So guys, this is like the hard. I'm doing it the hard way, guys. I'm saying I'm we are learning as we go on the steps of this tumbler, okay? <laughs> so yes, bear with me on this tutorial. I know. I am such a hot mess. Then I also, another hot mess moment I did was my freaking camera died. So I glittered that that middle piece um, and I didn't know that my camera had died. Yay. So anyway, so I glittered that um, that middle piece, a chunky glitter. I didn't use a fine at all. I just actually went in with some glitter glue and then I glittered um, the chunky on top, I mean in the middle, and then I just pressed down my finger. I didn't go in with any fine in between just because the base is already white and that chunky glitter it has a red and white um mixture so it was no biggie so then um i got a red paint primer glue mixture and i went ahead and painted that top part um with it and then again second coat wait till that first coat dries and then we're going to use the second coat for adhesive. Also, guys, all the glitters that I'm using today are from Sass and Crafts. And I will have a code linked in the bio as well as artistry and for the um, all the tools that I use in this um, video. And I will also have a link for the stencil that I did create for you to purchase. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so I'm going in with my glitter um and i will also list all the colors that i used because i honestly forgot what color i used in this video <laughs> as i did not show the camera i usually do but i guess i did not this time so yeah so now i'm going ahead and top tapping top <laughs> tapping all the glitter off my tumbler and then i'm going to go ahead and put as soon as it's dry i'm going to seal it with some rust-oleum clear spray and then I'm going to go in with a coat of epoxy. I'm going to be using 12, 20 milliliters of um, fast set one to one ratio. And it will be dry in like two hours. So anyways, once it's dry, your epoxy is dry, you're going to come ahead and get it off the turner. And I go ahead and get my little Dremel tool. And I actually don't use a flap wheel. You can if you want. But I actually just use this tool. Again, remember, I am not a tools person I have no idea I should probably educate myself with all these tool names but anyways I go with my um Dremel and with this attachment and then I go ahead at an angle and uh clean up my rim after I get all that part off I go ahead and make sure I, with my little um exacto knife I make sure I go around the rim again to make sure I didn't miss anything and then I'm going to go ahead and sand my whole tumbler and again, wipe it down with some alcohol and a coffee filter. So that way I get all that debris off. So then I'm going to go ahead and get my cup cradle, which I love that cup cradle. It's so little and <laughs> it just holds your cup. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to go in with some striping. This stripe that I'm using is actually, um, it's 11 inches wide and the height is 0 0.20. Um, so if you want to go ahead and put that in your... Cricut and I just go ahead and cut a whole bunch and and then I use them for whenever I need them so I go ahead and do that I put striping right there and then I'm going to put it on the top as well then I realized I really kind of wanted more um, detail and dimension to my stripes so I went ahead and got um, this really pretty metallic red it's final and then I put it in the middle in between um I put it in the middle of that black striping also the measurement for this um is I usually I use the same I use the same um vinyl that I used for the striping that point twenty. so when you get it off from your machine there's like space in between those stripes and I just cut those in the middle and that is what that 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 size 
Um, I don't know what size it is, but yeah, so that is what I use. Uh, and then I repeat the process on both stripes. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my stencil for the top part, which is the hearts. And I'm going to go ahead and um, weed out all that stencil. You see, I need to change my blade out on my Cricut. But hey, again, we're learning as we're going. <laughs> Um, so I struggle a little bit, but I finally get it off. But as I'm getting, as I'm taking the, as I'm weeding out my stencil, I realize I kind of wanted to add a little bit more to the bottom of that tumbler to kind of make it pop a little bit. So I use, um, the same stripe that I used for that, that red, that skinny red. I used it to, um, to line the diagonals of my diamond. Um, I just felt like it made it pop a little bit more and it just kind of tied in the tumbler all together. So that's basically what I'm doing now in this whole step is I'm going to go around that whole tumbler and um, line out every single one. And I just kind of do it in big strips as diagonal and then once I finish that overall, I'll go the opposite way with diagonal. And there you go, guys. That's how I do that striping. I do not cut it out individually, um, but that's all I do. So now that all that's done, now I'm going to go in and put my stencil for the top part. And again, I get my um, ultimate guide tool and I go ahead and make a line. What I love about this tool, guys, is that you can literally move that, um, that tool up and down that rod. So you can get it exactly where you need it. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my get my stencil, my hearts, and I try to line up the edge of the heart up into the um up uh, up against that line that we created. And you're going to see me do that here in just a sec. Okay, so how I apply my um, stencil is, again, you saw me fold the back of that down, and then I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to line up my hearts up against that line, and then I'm going to get my squeegee, and then just push it out, and while you're pushing it out, that backing will um, release itself from the stencil. Um, <clears throat> and I just keep pushing it all the way through, and with that squeegee, the way you do it, you should not get any bumps. And we want to make sure we do not get bumps underneath our stencil because we are going to spray paint it with that peekaboo. So everything lined up are really good. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And then you are going to see me just kind of look at it. And then the stencil, the bottom hearts kind of go onto the striping. So I'm going to go ahead and get my X-Acto knife and go ahead and trim off those, um, trim off the hearts like where the striping is at. All right, now that you have your hearts laid out, you're gonna go ahead and get a paper towel and get 91% alcohol and rub off that line. So now all that is completed and I'm going to, now we need to prep our part for the peekaboo part, for the top part. Um, since our whole cup is basically done, to protect that part from all the spray paint, I'm gonna go ahead and get clean, um, saran wrap and wrap the tumbler all around the bottom part and up, um, to secure the saran wrap, we're going to go ahead and get painter's tape and um, you're going to want to put the tape right at the striping line and uh, kind of secure it there. 
After you spray paint and you remove the saran wrap from the cup and the tape, and you see that your paint kind of ran through, you can always take off that first stripe, that the, the striping that you did on that top one, and you can always reapply it. So don't think that, you know, like there's no room for error because there is a little bit. Um, and now that we spray painted it, I went ahead and let it dry. I used Rosoleum white, uh, matte white spray paint for this one. So now I waited till it's dry and now I'm just going to go ahead and pull up all of those hearts to get that peekaboo effect with that red. And it just looks so good once it's all um, weeded through. And there you go guys. Then it's ready for your final coat of epoxy. And it is done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see y'all around for the next one. Bye.